Welcome back boys and girls, it's your boy Kim from Rummage Run and in today's video we're going to go charity shopping, see if we can make a profit today. We're here in sunny Boston. I mean it's pretty cold, it's windy, my hair is flipping and swept to the side. I'm going to take you guys with me, we're going to do slightly different today, we're going to go, there's no going to be no haul, we're going to do the sort of what we pick up in the charity shop as well. So. Let's get cracking a lacking. So no haul. The haul is going to be within the actual video itself. Smash that like button if you do like this type of video. Smash that subscribe button if you're new around here. And without further ado, let's crack a lacking and get into the charity shops. Let's see what we pick up. Let's go. So the first charity shop was an absolute bust, but we move on onwards and upwards to the next one. Hopefully we can find some bangers. <sighs> it's not looking great. Saint Barnabas, what have you got for us today? So we found this 54 Blitz touchdown hat. £2.50 should be comfortable. £15, £20. Really nice little felt design. Touchdown, 54 Blitz. <sighs> Don't know, one size fits all sort of thing. I think it was probably vintage, but the tag has been cut out. But it's pretty goddamn cool. I'm gonna pick this up, three pound fifty. Should be looking at comfortable, twenty five pound. Picked up is the EMP pre-release, so something slightly different. And yeah, should be looking at about twenty five pound. Bosh. On the next one. Now these are cool. Sort of like. Brown vintage kickers, four pound. Only kid size. I still think I should get about 25, 28 pound for these. So uh, they're definitely coming home with me. Nice vintage brown color. And uh, should sell very, very strong. Four pound, bargain. So it's not every day you can find sort of 2009 Toy Story 3. I know it's 12 pound, but I I think we can still get around the £35 back for this. So, and this is so flipping cool. It's definitely got to be coming home with me. £12 into about £35. Toy Story 3. Go on, Woody. Up the Woody. So, a bit of a shame. It looks absolutely shrunk. £9. 100% Marina Wall. Aqua Scotum. I don't think we're going to pick this up just because it's shrunk like crazy. This is supposed to be size large, but it's probably an extra small. <laughs> but yeah, definitely one to be on the lookout for. 20 pound. And look at the state of them. Poor, absolute poor. So we've just bought this genuine country cognac leather tweed, sort of nice blue green tweed bag. Pay 10, should be looking around about the 35 pound mark. I always seem to struggle to find something in a British Heart Foundation. Is it me or is the British Heart Foundation getting very, very, very expensive? Like it was expensive at the start, but now it's flipping ridiculous. Charity shop number whatever. Probably just a tad too expensive. Shame. Really nice condition. But £12. Ouch. They're probably just going to stay here. So here we have Emporio Armani. I'm 90% sure they're fake. The tag just looks a bit crap. They feel absolutely terrible. £4. Would have been a bargain. But they just feel like plastic denim. I don't know if that's a thing. But it's a bit unfortunate, really, because they would have looked good at the shop. Not too sure. Let me know if you think they're fake or not, but I'm not picking them up. That is a fact. Even the button on the back just feels plastic. Shame. When did the um, fudge become 49p? But... This is a little snack cinnamon bun and a Yazoo. 49p for fucking fudge. Yeah, I still bought it because fudge is 49p and fudge is fudging brilliant. Sense what we got today. 
So, first thing we found today in the sense, six pound musto performance sort of rain jacket. UK size 16, should be an easy 35 pound. And I think, I think it's got a built-in hood, which is a beast. So yeah, we'll take that all day long. Uh, 15 pound for a pair of vans. Uh, charity shops are definitely getting more expensive around here. And then you've got the same one with eight. Uh, can you please be quiet? I'm trying to make a video. Flip it now. And the last shop. Why? Bit of a shame about this. Six second abs, two pound fifty. Get about twenty quid. Also, the replacement resistant bands actually sell for a lot of money on eBay. So definitely be on the lookout for the bands itself. They can sell for like. £10 for the pair of the red ones and £15 for the pair of the yellow ones but it's missing one and it's a bit scuffed £2.50 I'm just going to leave it here So Boston was a bit of a fail today but we picked up some few bits nothing great I think it's about £35 or something we return about 200 quid there or thereabouts but what we're going to do is get to the car and I'll show you my favourite item of the day and probably my most profitable item of the day as well and just go from there. If you did look sort of like this new approach to the videos, maybe doing the haul as we go or the haul at the end too, let me know in the comments section below. But anyway, let's get into the car, put the heating on because it's flipping freezing, it's starting to rain and we'll go through my favourite item of today. But yeah, a bit disappointing really, but hey, you win some, you lose some. So we are back in the car and yeah, it was a bit of a mess of a day, to be honest with you, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Boston was mediocre at best. We picked up a few things, but again, still not pretty, pretty good at all. I'm just going to go through my favourite pickup and probably my most profitable item. But this is my favourite item. It's not the most profitable, that's a fact. I paid £12 for this bad boy. But when is it every, when is, when do you see Toy Story 3 boxed sealed stuff? From 2009, which is what, uh, 13 years ago, which is pretty incredible. I should, I should still make a bit of money off this. It's £12 and I should get a comfortable £30 to £35. But being a massive Toy Story fan, I had to pick it up and I'm glad I did. 12 into about 35 is better than a kick in the teeth and we should be able to sell this pretty, pretty quickly. And in fact, this is probably the most profitable item that I can sort of get to hand right now. And it's, a, it's just a pop figure. I don't tend to pick many pop figures up because I simply do not find them at all. And when I do, they seem to be priced very, very highly, even in the car boots. This is Kevin Keller from Riverdale on Netflix. I picked this one in particular because it's an EMP pre-release. Let's go anything that's pop figure with a sort of like pre-release or special edition sticker on the side of the box tends to hold a little bit more value. Paid £3.50 and to be fair, I'm very, very glad that I did pick this up. I should be looking at a comfortable £30 to £35, which is about 10x in your money before fees and postage. But there wasn't that many clothing and it was more toys and bitsy, pitsy, itsy, bitsy, spider sort of things. But yeah, definitely probably the best pickup of the day. And my favourite pickup of the day was the Toy Story 3 Talking Woody. So I'm going to end the video now. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, I know it's slightly different and I'm not too sure which way I prefer it. I don't know if I prefer the haul at the end or doing it while I go around the charity shops. I think I prefer it doing it this way. It makes it so much easier for me, but that's not up to me. It's down to you guys. So let me know in the comment section below, which way do you prefer it this way or the other way? Thank you guys for watching. You are amazing. You're absolutely, um, the support on the channel has been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Smash that like button. If you're new around here, please do think about subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys, and boom.